Governor Abbott says the legalization of marijuana is highly unlikely this legislative session, but as far as open carry laws, that's a different story. This balloon behind me marks the spot where a five-year-old was fatally struck yesterday by a hit and run driver. With the stadium across the street and the Boys and Girls Club just down the road, police are cautioning drivers to be aware of pedestrians as they continue their investigation. Representative David Simpson says House Bill 2165 will increase individual liberties and decrease government control. There will be a number of local artists participating at this weekend's event, just like Ricky Bailey. Bailey says this is a great way for local artists to get their name out on the national stage. They're calling this the new frontier of firefighting. Crews will be able to send the drone in, survey the area, and then properly divert their resources. When the surveillance video was first released, Police Chief Don Dingler said officers responded based on how they were trained. The protesters here today said they should reevaluate their protocol. But what about people who have left the church? For a growing number of the population, Christianity stopped being the answer. The Nursing and Health Science Department at UT Tyler Longview's campus just completed a research proposal in favor of patient access to medical cannabis. In their proposal, they highlighted a host of various benefits in addition to pain relief. This includes the reduction of seizures in epilepsy patients, the reduction of nausea and vomiting, and appetite stimulation in HIV and AIDS patients. Johnny Casey's is a landmark location with a loyal following, and to see this place close down, many people say it's really hard to deal with. 